Hi guys, oh my gosh, my skin looks really good. Remind me to tell y'all later what I'm using. <laughs> but anyways, this tutorial that I'm about to show you will show you how to use MS Word to create a design uh, using my cotton candy template and the nine ounce cup wrapper template. Now I will actually only be showing the cotton candy template, but the exact same process can be used for the cup wrapper template. Now the reason I'm kind of just doing this little pre-message is because I had to do the tutorial super late at night. Unfortunately, nowadays I hardly have any time to do anything, and, uh, and but I wanted to do this for you guys because in my Facebook group, it's been asked for a lot. People are getting frustrated and I wanted to be able to help. So uh, just follow along with the tutorial and do not mind the weird way that I'm recording. Again, I just wanted to get something out there for you guys. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, okay? Bye. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is head over to my website. Uh, it's going to be adriannaspapercrafts.com, but it's going to be the design innovators page. And of course, that's where all of my templates are at. Make sure that you have this template, the cotton candy one. So once you have that saved to your computer, instead of going straight to Word, the trick is going to be to actually go online and head to photop.com. So for you guys who do not like to use Photoshop or don't have Photoshop, photop.com is actually a online version of Photoshop. It's really great. I've done a couple of tutorials on it and I, I really suggest this if you want to start learning how to do Photoshop. So you're going to head over here to file and you're going to open your template. Okay, once your template pops up, you then have to go and open up the image that you plan to use as a pattern because again, you have to save your image as a pattern to this program. So I, I'm i not planning anything um, specifically, like I'm not making like a Rugrats template or anything. I'm literally just gonna show you the steps. So I'm gonna pick any old pattern that comes up here on my computer. So I am opening up this cheetah print pattern. From here, you're gonna go over to edit at the top left. You're gonna come down to define new and then click on pattern. So what's that, what that is doing is saving this pattern to the program so that when you come over here and say, hey, insert this pattern, it already has it saved. So now you've got your template up here, your weirdly shaped <laughs> template. You're going to come down here to the bottom right and click on FEFF. -F. It's short for effects. And you're going to click on pattern overlay. So this little box will pop up and this is where you're going to select your pattern. So of course, since I just uploaded that pattern, it instantly inserted it over here. I could also select these if I wanted to. These are ones that were already kind of preloaded to the online program. So you can play around with that if you want to try out different patterns. Everything else will be left the same, so don't mess with that, okay? Click OK. Now, if that's all you want, if you love this pattern and you're ready to start just, you know, inserting some words, maybe some little clip art here or there, then you can go ahead and save this. However, let's say you wanted to add a border around this, right? And let's say you wanted to make that border like glitter or something like that. So you would again come over to file and open and you would select the pattern that you want to use as the border. So I'm just going to pick this gold one here. It's going to go ahead and open that and I'm going to save it again as a pattern. So that's over to edit, down to define new, and then pattern and it says pattern added. So then I just come back over here to my tab, come back again down here. You gotta make sure that your layer is selected, okay? Come down here again, and this time I'm gonna click stroke. So then this box will pop up. So you can see right here it has added a border for me. So in this box where it says size, you can make it bigger you can make it smaller. 
So just play around with that until you find a width that you like. You can also change whether you are using a pattern, a gradient, or a color. So if I selected color, it would switch back to a regular color. But I want to use a pattern. So I'm going to switch back to pattern. And once again, it has this little box here for me to pick out the picture that I want to use. So I'm going to select this little gold one. I'm going to make my border size a little bit smaller than that. Alright, and so then that looks okay to me. Everything else you need to go ahead and leave alone. Unless, of course, you know, if your pattern on the border is kind of messed up, you don't like it, that's when you would mess with this. But if everything looks good, you won't mess with this. Go ahead and click OK. So that's what that looks like. So now you would need to save it as a PNG to your computer. Okay, so as you can see, it has started to save right here. So then you can come back over to your Word document. Make sure that the Word document you are working with is going this way, not this way. So it's going sideways, meaning if you go to Layout, your orientation is under Landscape. And because the Cotton Candy template has to be bigger than regular size paper, you need to also make sure to change the paper size. So I currently have it set to 11 by 17. This size is big enough for the cotton candy template. Cotton candy, uh, sorry, the cup wrapper, you can use regular paper, but the cotton candy wrapper, you have to use something bigger than the eight and a half by 11. So if your printer is not capable of printing that, unfortunately, this is not the project for you. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click on insert at the top left, I'm gonna click on pictures this device and then I'm just gonna find the picture that I just downloaded alright so now here it is now I also need to make sure that the template itself is the size that it's supposed to be right away I can tell that it's wrong because it's saying that the width is 13.11 when I know that it's like supposed to be 12 point something so I'm going to open up my template real quick. Okay, so I've just entered in the original template on the next page just so that I can have it up. So the total size is written right here. So I know that it needs to be 12.71 inches in width. So I'm going to come over to the right hand side. If you can't find this height and width box, you need to make sure to click on picture format up here, okay? Click picture format and then you'll see the height and width box. I'm going to type in, what did we say? 12.71. So I'll come over to width, 12.71, enter, and it resizes my image. All right, so now it is 12.71 in width by 5.26. And yeah, that's about right. So, and the only reason that the height is bigger than this height is because I added a border to it so it's now like you know it's thicker so just kind of keep that in mind if you're adding borders um, you may need to change it to where the border is on the inside of your template versus the outside of the way that I did it if that's confusing of course just let me know just comment in the comments down below um, I'm kind of making this video pretty quickly for you guys but it's been asked for a ton in my Facebook group and I really want to be of help so kind of just piecing it together real quick while I have a second before I go to bed um, but yeah so from here all you have to do then is click insert up here and start inserting you know your your clip art here let me pick out a clip art that way you can see let's just say I was going to add this random Nickelodeon baby bottle to it and then it's going to pop up underneath this image so you need to make sure to select it Come over here to wrap text and you're going to select in front of text okay now you can drag it on top of this layer you can of course resize it you can rotate it let's say you want to add in some text you know to say happy birthday or something you're going to click on insert right here 
and you could either do some word art, you could do a text box. Alright, and I'm just going to type in Happy B-Day, just as a little example for you guys. I'm going to make sure that my text box does not have an outline. Alright, I'm also going to make sure that it has no fill, meaning that it's not going to have a white background to it. I'm going to change the color of my text real quick. I'm going to make it white and I'm going to make it really big so it's a little bit more viewable. So again, you need to go to shape format and make sure that it is in front of text, okay? Alright, so now I can place it here. And of course, you can rotate that. Now, I don't use Word too much. I think I've mentioned this before, but I honestly hate Word, <laughs> even for work purposes at my seasonal job, which I am doing again. I hate using it. It's very limiting in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. I mean, if this is if you're used to it then and, and you're, you know, like an expert at it, then honestly, bravo to you because I, I just can't. I really can't. That's why I use Photoshop for everything because at this point, I'm just used to it. But yeah, so obviously this looks hideous, but you guys get the idea. That is how I would go about completing this project using Word if I did not have Photoshop. Photop is a free online program. That means you do not have to download it. You don't have to pay for it. It only took me, what, about a minute to do that? And even that was because I was explaining it to you guys. So this project is really easy. I hope this helps you guys. Um, give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, be sure to do so. Make sure to join our community. I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.